The family of a man who Albuquerque police shot and killed two years ago are now calling on the district attorney's office to reopen his case. They say justice has not been served. They claim officers were not in the right to kill Valente Acosta Bustillos during a wellness check back in 2020. Brianna Wilson looked into this request today. So, Brianna, a special prosecutor reviewed this case, determined not too long ago the officers were acting in self-defense. That's right, Tessa Julie. So in his review, the special prosecutor said there was not enough evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Officer Edgar Sandoval was not acting in self-defense. He also said Sandoval's actions indicated that he believed his life and his partner, Officer Joseph Bush's life, were in danger that day. We have body cam video of the incident. We want to warn you, some may find it disturbing. It started with a wellness check on March 30th, 2020. Family members of Valente Acosta Bustillos were worried that they had not heard from him in a few days. Los dos tenía dos trabajos, okay. According to court documents, the two responding officers were told by APD dispatch that Acosta Bustillos possibly had an outstanding arrest warrant. But when they tried to take him in, this happened. Ahora. Lapel video shows Acosta Bustillos running into his house. When he still does not comply, Bush tases him. What are you going to be tased? Sandoval shoots Acosta Bustillos multiple times. Officials say he ended up dying from his wounds at the hospital. Special Prosecutor Ralph Trujillo was appointed by the DA's office to review the case. Last year, he wrote to APD's chief that criminal charges against Officer Sandoval were not warranted and the case would be closed. I believed and made a determination that uh, the evidence established that Officer Sandoval was uh, acting under a reasonable belief that Mr. Acosta Bustillos uh, posed a threat of death or great bodily harm by, uh, by wielding that shovel at, at the officers. A decision that Acosta Bustillos' family and local advocates want reversed. Justice for Valente! Justice for Valente! Justicia para Valente! Justicia para Valente! They're calling on the DA's office to reopen the case and make sure the two officers involved in the shooting are fired and charged. DA Torres has stated that there's nothing he can do to reopen the criminal investigation and that our only alternative is to go to Attorney General Hector Balderas, but we know that's a lie. Uh, really, the, the Attorney General is the only other um, person that has that authority to look at the case and look at the same evidence that I looked at. I can't imagine that he would come up with a different decision, but, uh, but certainly uh, he can make that call. No, Costa Bustillos' family says they're gathering again this evening to protest. And like the special prosecutor, the DA's office tell, tells us that the attorney general's office would have to decide to reopen this investigation. Back to you guys. And we'll see if that's decided. Okay, Brianna, thank you.